In this video, we will look at two examples that will let us practice working with dilations in the coordinate plane. In example A, it says, determine the coordinates of triangle ABC and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, and find the scale factor. So I see two triangles there, and I notice that triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is the bigger triangle. So what that means is that the scale factor has to be greater than one, because the shape has gotten bigger after the dilation. So let's figure out those coordinates. In triangle ABC, we have A is at the point 2, 1, B is at the point 5, 1, and C is at the point 3, 6. Now in triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, we have A prime, is at the point 6, 3, B prime is at the point 15, 3, and C prime is at the point 9, 18. Now what we want to do is compare the corresponding coordinates between A and A prime, B and B prime, C and C prime. So as we look from A to A prime, we notice that each coordinate has been multiplied by 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 3 is 3. Same thing for B, or again, we're multiplying by 3 because 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 3 is 3. And again, it's the same thing for C. 3 times 3 is 9, 6 times 3 is 18. So what that means is that the scale factor is 3. And it will always be the case that the scale factor is multiplied by all of the original coordinates to create all the coordinates for the image points. Remember, this makes sense with what we originally said. Because the shape has gotten bigger in the dilation, the scale factor had to be greater than 1. All right, let's go to example C. In example C, it says quadrilateral EFGH has vertices E, negative 4, negative 2, F, 1, 4, G, 6, 2, and H, 0, negative 4. Draw the dilation with the scale factor of 1.5. So the first thing we want to do is plot the original four points. In other words, plot quadrilateral EFGH. So here we have all four points in quadrilateral EFGH. Let's connect them. And then after that, we're going to use our scale factor to create the new shape, the image. The scale factor is 1.5. Because the scale factor is greater than 1, it's going to be an enlargement, meaning our new shape, the image, is going to be bigger than the original. In order to create the image, what we can do is multiply each of the four points by 1.5 in both the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. So for example, if we want to get E prime, what we're going to do is multiply negative 4 times 1.5 that's for our x-coordinate, and then negative 2 times 1.5 for our y-coordinate. That gives us negative 6, negative 3. So E prime is the point negative 6, negative 3. So we can start by plotting that, and we're right here. So we're going to do the same thing for the other three points. So F prime is going to be 1 times 1.5 for the x-coordinate and 4 times 1.5 for the y-coordinate. So that means that f prime is going to be 1.5, 6. So again, let's plot that. And here we go, f prime. Next, let's do g. g prime is going to be 6 times 1.5 and then 2 times 1.5, which gives us 9, 3, so that's right here, a little bit off the screen of the graph paper, but that's okay. And lastly, let's do h. h prime is going to be 0 times 1.5, and then negative 4 times 1.5, which gives us 0, negative 6, which is right here. We can see that our new shape, 
is slightly bigger than our original, which makes sense because the scale factor is only 1.5. And if the scale factor was exactly 1, then we would just have the same shape we started with. It also looks like our original shape and our new shape, the image, are similar to each other, which they should be. It looks like they have all the same angles, it's the same general shape. It's just that the image is a little bit bigger.